Okay, I'm really excited to show you this recipe, and this is going to be for an all-natural sunscreen that's safe without a lot of the additives and preservatives and chemicals that you find in over-the-counter uh, sunscreens. And this is something that is so easy you can make from home. I have to give credit to my friend Heather who I asked her to, to come up with the recipe for me using certain ingredients that I knew would be um, sunscreen, sun protecting ingredients for your skin and so she has a perfect recipe for us to try out and I'm going to show you how to make it. Okay for this recipe you're going to need a quart sized jar, a scale to weigh out your ingredients. Uh, which is kind of optional. I'm going to give you that in tablespoons as well as ounces and actually grams. I'm not going to do ounces uh, Instead so you can choose if you don't have a scale you could probably get by with the tablespoon measurements and a hand blender And what we're going to do first is inside your quart size mason jar put your coconut oil that's going to be six tablespoons or 84 grams of coconut oil and I would um, I tend to like to, to do uh, the grams, even versus ounces, because you can get a little bit more exact with grams, even more than by weight. Okay, so there's my coconut oil. Then I need two tablespoons. Heather, when she put this together, she used grapeseed oil, and I don't have grapeseed seed oil on hand, so instead I'm using almond oil. And then zinc oxide. There's any way, this is what it looks like, it's powder form. If you're able to, this just gets, this is just a little tip. If you can break down any kind of large clumps, um, as much as you can before emulsifying it, it's just gonna, I mean blending it, it's just gonna work out better. It won't have a lot of big clumps. There. And we're going to try and get away with as much zinc oxide as we can without looking really white and pasty. So uh, that's what I'm hoping. It's not going to like put the white nose like the lifeguards had to do back in the 50s. Okay, what I just put in there was shea butter. Let me go back. I forgot to give you the amounts. Coconut oil is 84 grams or 6 tablespoons. The oil that you use, uh, liquid oil, would be 2 tablespoons or 28 grams. The zinc oxide was 2 tablespoons or 28 grams and shea butter was three teaspoons or 14 grams and then the beeswax pellets um, is going to be two teaspoons or a gram. So you've got everything in there that you need. Um, if, by the way, if you're going to scent this for whatever reason you want to scent it, don't do that yet. Don't put that in there yet. You want to do it after it's already melted down and before you pour it. So that's it and I'm going to go put that in a double boiler until it's completely melted. Okay, now it's time to use the blender to blend it all up. And this is mostly for the zinc oxide to really get that blended in there well. And I'm keeping it inside the double boiler just to keep it hot. pour it into another container. Now if I had a more, if I made more than um, what I have in this jar, which I probably should have tried that, but I would have just left it in that jar, um, in my quart size jar and be done. That way I know nothing's getting wasted, but I also kind of want to see how well I blended it. So I'm going to pour it into a smaller container and something that you can still, you know, put a lid on. You can take it to the beach. You do have to Remember that um, that if everything gets really, really hot, it could melt and make a mess, so you don't want to leave it out in the hot sun. You just pour it right into your jar. Actually, it did pretty well. I didn't really have any chunks left over. And you're just going to wait till that sets. Right now it's liquid, but that will set. Um, Heather said she was out in the sun for two hours, and the parts of her body that she didn't have covered with this got burnt. So where she had it covered, 
didn't burn and that's really really good news if you want a lighter SPF and I really don't know what SPF this would be but if you want a lighter because you want to tan yourself or you want more sun um, exposure then you would just use less zinc oxide and play around with the amounts because you might need more beeswax if you do less zinc oxide to get it to the consistency that you want so this is really effective it's safe for children zinc oxide actually has a good um, hazard rating on environmental working group the only thing that makes it hazardous is the powder if you breathe it um, then it's dangerous but most people aren't going to go around inhaling zinc oxide powder other than that once you make this it's fine so there you go and we're going to see what it feels like after it's hardened okay it's been a couple hours now and I'm going to check it out actually I, I already just dipped into it before I turned on the movie because I wanted to see what it's like and this is really nice this is really nice the cream is good and I put some on my arm I'm going to do it again it's going to come on white but that's because there's a lot of zinc oxide and if you want that major sun protection you're going to want a lot of zinc oxide so um, if you don't want you know if, if you want a lower SPF you would just use less zinc oxide this is, you know, if you're going to, for us, it would be Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk on the weekend, and you don't notice how fast you burn. This is what you want to put on the kids just to make sure they don't get that burn. It's going to probably um, leave a little bit of whiteness on your clothes. So just remember, this is for the strong sun protection. I, I can see where this would totally work. Um, in that strong heat so again just use less zinc if you don't want that whiteness but this is going to protect your little ones yeah you can see I'm a little whiter now <laughs> if you want a suntan screen you're gonna you're gonna use different op use different proportions but anyway it's really it's nice it's actually cold in my house right now for being June it's 71 degrees and um, it, this kind of comes out creamy when I touch it a lot and that's part of that um, coconut oil and the warmth of my skin so if you're concerned I mean if you're going to be going somewhere where it's a hundred degrees or something you're going to want to put more beeswax in it just to harden it up but I, I feel good about putting this on my kids because I know it's gonna protect them so there you go. You've got a good pint. Is that a pint? I think that's a, I think that's a pint of um, sunscreen next time you go to the beach.